taking a look at the minimum wage, some governors have said that they can't afford the 30,000 proposed minimum wage. Um, you've mentioned that there should be some sort of legal framework where um, the different areas or the different places, different states in this regards, can afford to pay based on what they generate. Part of what the problem is, is that cost of living is very high. There's a need to look for a minimum wage, but the framework to do that is wrong because it's a unified minimum wage. And I've said, as I've said, uh, labels, you know, Michael Limodu, Nigeria's number one labor leader of all time, understood that you would use an adjustment mechanism to determine what is the minimum. So you need a law to create a new legal framework to create what will be acceptable in the Southwest, Southeast, Northwest, or whatever else. But just have one national minimum wage without taking into consideration local considerations is not possible. So states should be generating more internally generated funds, IGR, to meet up? I come from Onija, where we have a lot of water, but the port of Onitsha that straddles the River Niger is controlled by the federal government. In fact, the federal government has just, through the Ministry of Transport, privatized the ports. And, and the governor is sitting there. It should be the responsibility of the governor of Anambra to deal with waterways in, 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 uh, in Anambra. So you need to structure out an unbundled power to make the states more realistically able to generate revenue. You don't just talk about revenue generation on paper. There's got to be streams of income. You've got to allow them to earn from this, this, and that. But if the federal government is collecting everything, that, taxes, that, that, how would the states generate income, the so-called IGR? So things must, the government, I'm not sure what, what the federal government is generating on driver's license. But when Chidoka was the head of Federal Road Safety Commission, uh, there was a proposal to fund that agency with 28 billion. And the key job of Federal Road Safety, in addition to other things they do, is issuance of driver's license, which should be the job of a, a local government in, in the state. So the only way you can create money for the states is to give them power. Right now there's confusion about should the federal government do this or should the state? We must settle the geopolitical distribution of power in Nigeria so that we create a legal order. We can't have this mess going on. There must be a legal order created so that the governor of Anambra knows this is my remit. Now, once the legal order is created, the next important thing would be, therefore, to look at who will do what. There will be a debate about around who should, who should do refuse. I don't think the federal government want to do refuse. Who should do primary education, primary health care? You know, who should do things like issuance of, you know, uh, certificates for marriages that the federal government is doing now? Who should do business registration? Who should do business startups, small businesses? These are all matters for the states. So when it's clear that you've, this, you've divided power, then if schools fall within the authority and jurisdiction of the states, then how they will build schools will come. But these plans you refer to, it's not clear whether the plans talk about who is responsible. If you don't have a directly responsible agency, you can't talk about an output. So first of all, we need that legal framework to redefine who does what. That's so critical to Nigeria's moving forward. You also mentioned that the judiciary as an institution has failed. Completely. If you were, if you were ill and you went to a doctor to treat yourself and then the, the test came back and said you had typhoid or malaria, you don't want to spend nine years to get cured of malaria or typhoid. So it's taking about nine to 15 years to resolve simple cases. So we've got to ask ourselves, what's, what's wrong? Part of what's wrong is there's a centralized judiciary the Supreme Court has no business dealing with customary land cases from Lagos State. That is business. The Supreme Court deals with 
high constitutional policy, which is why there was such a big argument about Trump's Supreme Court nominee. The Supreme Court shapes massive policy, and therefore you have other Supreme Courts that deal with the basic day-to-day -day quarrels about, among people. So it could be at the regional level that you have six Supreme Courts or the states. So there has to be a federal judicature and a state judicature. So you create an exit channel. So you lower the pressure going into the Supreme Court because there are 36 Supreme Courts dealing with local things. And then the speed of justice will simply go up. It, it's, I'm embarrassed when I go to court and I see how cases are conducted. Any investor that walked into a Nigerian court will run away with his money. Because we're practicing what the English did in 1800. The, 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 the judicature and the framework to resolve disputes are at least 200 years old. And I don't think that's what we want to do. You don't want to go to a doctor that his medicine is about 50 years dated. It must be current. Again, you mentioned the national order. What would it take stabilizing our national disunity, as you call it? When a place is in pieces, you know, so let's go to a family, family unit. So everywhere is pieces, nothing's working, crisis. You're not at peace, I'm not at peace. The kids are not at peace, daddy and mommy are fighting everywhere, war. Nothing good will come out of it. Then one day I say, you know what? Let's have a peace accord. Let's, let's review what we're doing rightly or wrongly. So I asked my wife, what's wrong? And she says, well, I don't like how you go out every night very late. I don't like how you, you don't give me enough money, da, 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 da. So I said, all right, here are my own grievances. So we now write up a peace accord and we follow it. So we create a new family order and there is peace. I respect her. I don't bring girlfriends into the house. No smoking in the house. No that, that, that. That's order. Here, there's no order. I'm sure in your house you have an order. So there must be a national order. How you build it is not my issue, but you must have a national order so that you don't have kidnappings, killings, and all what you have, corruption, you know, everything going wrong in Nigeria will not be there. Now, the product of a national order is peace and stability and good governance. But without national order, I can assure you that all of the lofty documents that President Buhari and uh, presidential candidate uh, Atiku have discussed it can't work. You, you, you can't create uh, something out of nothing.